Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Truth, and yeah, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Donate, and yeah, definitely join and become a member so we change the world together. So, yeah, today we're gonna talk about learning through undesirable experiences, guys. You know, yes, learning through undesirable experiences guys a whole lot of us are always faced with these sorry undesirable experiences and you'll be asking me too what do you mean i mean like some people will think that they are born unlucky so whenever a misfortune happen in their life they'll be like hey I am super, super bad luck, where they are really not bad luck, you know? Whenever an undesirable circumstance happens in someone else's life happens, we're like, hey, I am bad luck, I shouldn't have done that, and all that. No, you are not bad luck, right? So, it's just an experience, and we have to learn from that. We can't always be blaming and complaining and all that, because... This kind of emotions are really low vibrational, you know? Yeah, so even blaming someone is part of learning through undesirable experiences, guys, if you think about it, because you put your powers into someone else's hands, and later on, right, when you don't like the situations, you cry. You'll be like, no, I didn't sign up for this. No, I didn't want to say I wanted to do this or I didn't mean it like that or whatnot. No. Yeah, because immediately when you take your power and give it to somebody else who's going to control your life, add something else. Because that someone has a right to like kick you when you are down and all that, right? Because giving your power is a way to these people, guys, right? Yeah, so like blaming someone. After you give your power away to someone, and then you'll be blaming them. Like, no, it's your fault. I gave you a, per a permission to do this and whatnot and whatnot. No. That's why I prefer us not to really talk about our personal emotions or personal feelings or personal stuff with somebody else because they can use it against you. Imagine if you are vulnerable with someone, you know, and you open up your heart and pour your emotions out and tell them about this horrible event that happened to you and that someone goes and talk about it to somebody else isn't that giving away your power to you? yes it is because some people's intentions are when they are bored they just talk about other people guys you know they're not looking forward to learning and advance in their life so they can evolve guys you know because there's no point on being a baby, even when you are old in an adult body and you still want to be a baby. You see, because a whole lot of grown-ups now, they've just grown up with bodies and their brains. Nah, because these are the people who go around be gossiping about other people and all that because they are hating and being just jealous, you know. And believe me, like, that's, how, that's not how a human being to live and operate their life, guys, you know? So, if you are authentic self, then you're gonna stop gossiping and all that and stop blaming and these undesirable circumstances, they will build you to be the best version of yourself. Isn't it wise to always want to be the best version of yourself and not really live your life because somebody else is living like this? No, you don't have to copy your life to be the best. You know, because cooking someone else is just that. And it doesn't matter if these people are going to put you under these circumstances that whatever you do, you always want to be copied. It makes you a leader. It makes you like you. Right? Yeah, because if you're doing something else to inspire some other people, yeah, it's part of changing the world, guys, you know? Yeah, so like, Sometimes I know like things we can take them personal, but do you really have to really take everything personal? Really, really? 
like you trip over a stone there and you be like, oh damn, I'm back. Like no, no, guys, no, 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 no. That is not cool at all. That is not cool at all, guys. So, like, we are in this world to learn, and whatever circumstances you are you go through, it's supposed to be a lesson. If you didn't get it, it's always gonna come back to you. You see, to this rock in front of you, you keep tripping on, tripping on, tomorrow you trip on it, tomorrow, the next day and the day after that, it means you must wake up and open your eyes and really see what is going on around you. You see, because you can say, no, I trust my family, my family is good to me and all that and they can never betray me and all that and you might find out that you're not the favorite child all you do is just work and wake up in the morning and the princesses and the princesses are sleeping you see yeah because you are a go-getter you want to make everybody happy and the minute you start making other people happy before you put yourself first that is wrong guys you know because how are you gonna be happy with you pleasing other people being a people pleaser without having to please yourself like at the end of the day you be feeling like hey i know today it was not that bad where you was what did you do for yourself you know because some people will just come to you and be like hey man i need help from you help me with this help me with that and after you help them they go away and yeah they get successful and all that and you'll be hearing oh, no the guy got a job and all that and because you helped them you didn't get a job you gave them your lux you bank your lux in their bank of lux the trust bank of lux and yeah you give them away because you always want to be people pleasing helping people out you know like you think that it's fair that after you help somebody else and they get a job and they move away from you and then they don't become your friend anymore and the other person comes again hey i need you to teach me how to send an email and you teach us someone how to send an email they got a job and then phew gone without payments guys just i'm talking about friends because i know with businesses it's always tit for tat right so yeah but what if it's that friend who's always needy and always asking you for help and not actually respecting your time, doesn't even have an appointment with you, they feel they own you, they're entitled to everything you do. Like, don't you think that next time when somebody wants your help and yeah, you can help them out, time they charge a fee for that? Yeah? Yeah, like if you know, you know, accounting or business economics or whatever subject. Yeah, if a child comes to you and be like, hey, I need you to help me with homework or something like that. Yeah, you can be a tutor to that child, right? Then hour later, it's going to be a group and you are considered a teacher because you are helping these kids out, right? Do you think that is fair? Yes, because if you're not going to get a job anywhere else, what are you going to do if you got all this info, info, information in your head? I mean, a whole lot of us are affluent and yeah, like, don't you think it's time you charge for what you know, knowledge? Yeah, so if you know homework or any other cool subject out there, and somebody comes to you, hey, I need your help, hey, I'm struggling with this, yeah, it's an opportunity to, it's a way to make money, guys, like, you can open up a tutorial center for that, and then, yeah, you'll be the best at it, do you think? Yeah, because... If you're going to be a people's pleaser, like, people are always going to be taking away from you. Take, 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 take. What else can we take? Take. Let's take his nails. Take, take. So you can always be, so you can always be able 